Hello, and welcome to my first video on this channel. Today, I'll be showing you a devlog of my material-styled music player. It's nothing much yet, however, I do have some plans for it in the future. The images here are just some screenshots of what I will be building over this two-part series. So, I hope you stick around and enjoy the video. I'm going to be using Electron, View, and Materialize for my music player. Electron is a Chromium wrapper which lets me use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build a desktop app. It also unlocks some nice features like file system access and unrestricted web requests, which will come in handy later. Materialize is just a nice CSS framework which gives me all sorts of cool material styled components, like buttons, accordions, tabs, all those sorts of things. And finally, Vue is just going to handle my data state management, makes things super easy and clean. So, I'm going to start by making a fresh folder and grabbing my main libraries from npm. Step 1 is to get an actual electron window to show up. Should be fairly easy. There we go. Now I just need to get some designs roughed out in experience design and then fill out our HTML document. As I said, it's just a rough idea to help me while building the real thing, so nothing is final. Now, turning it into HTML is not that hard, it's just tedious. So, here goes nothing.
here it is. I got the layout done as well as some buttons and basic navigation. So, we will have a round button, the button that just comes with materialize. I will also have a hidden play bar. It'll act as a mask hiding any children that exceed the bounds of it. So when we click the button, it'll drop down, and when it reaches the center of the play bar, we'll set its parent to the hidden bar and scale it up, creating a wave-like effect. Should be pretty simple. Hopefully it is. Nothing ever is, though. And now I'm just going to work on getting the play bar controls and buttons to show up. And here we are. So, I got the layout, selections, animations, and play bar done in this part. I'm pretty happy so far, and I hope to get some actual function going in part 2, uh, in which I'll get audio importing and playing working, and I'll also build out some color schemes and a setting system. Also, probably go over some internet workings of the data saving system. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to check out part 2. It's right there and also leave some feedback. It would help so much. Thank you.